gotten so bad it's almost useless. Fox 59's Jenny and Chondo taking action for you to find out what the problem is, how long it's expected to last, and whether customers can get out of their contracts. We have no internet, we have no landline, we have no, you know, nothing without Sprint. Carrie Eidman relies 100% on Sprint's phone and internet service as an online college student, yet she can rarely send texts or get online. And it just sits there with the circle going around and around and around, waiting for it to load, and then it'll play like two seconds worth and it'll stop. I tried to show her my favorite YouTube video, and it loaded for a few seconds. <laughs> There's my problem right there. We've heard from dozens of others, like Angela Downey, reporting similar problems. I'm driving down the phone and we're talking, we're trying to set stuff up or whatever, and it drops it every single time. We get so frustrated. She says Sprint reps told mm -hmm. her upgrading to a new phone might help. She spent $299 on a new iPhone. Once I did the update and then went ahead and got the new phone in November, driving down Washington Street, exact same three spots, drops every call. Even with the fancy phone, she usually can't send pics or video. It really just kind of depends. And you do the whole, oh, how about here? No, that's not going to work. And it's a very predictable use pattern. For so we called Sprint from our landline to see what's happening. Sprint spokeswoman Kelly Schlagader confirmed there was a cell site outage at this tower in the Beat Grove area from July through mid-August. Aside from that, demand is simply exceeding supply. As that usage rises, we have to respond. And so there is somewhat of a lag between the usage spiking and us being able to get additional equipment into the network. And so we do that as quickly as we can, and we try to predict that as best we can. She says Sprint is putting in capacity right now and building a new nationwide network. In Indianapolis specifically, we haven't announced when that new network will be deployed, but we do expect the deployment to be largely complete by the end of 2013 nationwide. So you can be sure it's coming. People just want to know when they are going to be able to use what they're paying for. So, um... So within the next 90 days, we're going to be expanding the network. We're going to be upgrading the network. Um, this is separate from the rollout of a new network. She says if you're consistently not able to use your service, call them. You might be able to get out of your contract or get a partial refund. Jenny Anchondo, Fox 59 News. If you're a Sprint customer at fox59.com, we've got a link right there to a map that shows the tower upgrades and when work is scheduled in your area. We also have the number to call if you're looking to cancel service or request a refund. It is a very, very frustrating problem yes. for a lot of customers. It tries your patience, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> well, we are stepping back.